as important as it is to cover the syllabus, one cannot rule out the significance of an effective study plan. Hi everyone, welcome to Mathematically Inclined. If you study for long hours and still feel unprepared, you blank out in the examination hall or you cannot concentrate on the task at hand. If all this sounds familiar, then stay tuned till the end of this video as I discuss 10 most effective ways of studying. And now, let's get started. I'll cover the entire calculus today. How unrealistic is that? There is a need to first of all make a realistic plan for yourself. Now this could be further divided into a weekday plan and a weekend plan. By this I mean on the days when you are working, going to school, college, then you'll have a different plan from the days when you have an off. Secondly, whether you want to do a chapter at a stretch or maybe balance it out with a lighter one, that's completely on you. But whatever you decide, please ensure to put it down in a proper concrete manner. It is so essential to test how much you have learned through the week. Yes, by this I mean pick up the paper of the topic or the topics you have been doing throughout the week and take a short test. This way you would analyze how much have you actually accomplished and what needs to be done further. And this leads to our next step. Now reviewing your goals on a Sunday or for that matter any day which you fix is extremely important. This means carrying out the topics which you are not very confident to the next week and at the same time acknowledging the accomplishment of all those topics which you had planned and have been able to successfully achieve. Whatever you have planned, stick to the time. If you want others to honor your time, you need to value it first yourself. Correct posture. We would simply lie down on a bed with a book in a hand or slouch on a sofa and what happens after some time? We simply doze off or end up creating unnecessary sprains, neck pains, backaches. So what's the remedy? It's as simple as that. Sit on a proper table and chair which is organized, neat and at the same time well lit. This shall do the trick for you. Moreover, we need to understand maths is no novel. You cannot simply open the book and start reading. Keep a pen and paper handy and keep jotting down the key points or solving the sums as you proceed. Taking breathers or breaks. This I have further bifurcated under short breaks and long breaks. Short breaks can include going to the washroom, just stretching out a bit, having a quick snack and at the same time long breaks shall mean taking a quick nap, going out for a walk, talking to your family or friends, not about your syllabus, just a general talk or maybe your meal time which you enjoy with your family or friends. Short break or a longer one, you need to decide on the time and once again stick to it. For me, a short break would mean a quick 15-20 minutes and a long one can vary from 30 to 40 minutes. By this I mean doing some physical activity. That could include maybe exercising, picking up a sport or if you have nothing else to do, just put on some music and, and go for a small walk. I guess for me personally, nothing works better as a stress buster than going for a light jog in the middle of the nature. Now this is a very crucial step. Throw away your phones, not quite literally, but at the same time, disconnect yourself from any phone calls, messages, WhatsApp, Facebook, Twitter or any other social media you are active on. When you have delegated a certain time to your studying, please ensure there is absolutely no digital disturbance. You can check out your phone during your short or long breaks. 
we all are humans and so we need time to relax rejuvenate ourselves and this includes a 7 to 8 hours good sleep believe it or not you have definitely higher chances to blank out if you haven't slept well the night prior to your paper so whatever may be the reason give yourself a good sound sleep of 7 to 8 hours you would realize the difference yourself you would get up all refreshed and energetic ready to take up the task at hand eat healthy yes to this i would add most of the times i know it might not be very practical to keep eating healthy all all 365 days but at the same time you need to realize if we need to have a sustainable regular study plan we need to stay fit you have all oily fried stuff you are bound to doze off to sleep after that or it's not a good idea to skip your meal and sit down to study well in that case you'll have to answer to your growling tummy first before you can answer any question okay these were the very quick 10 tips from my side do share something extra if you have in the comment section below also share this video with the people around you and do not forget to subscribe to my channel i would see you with the next video until then bye bye